<laughs> look it, look it. D this is me, and this is this. And this is the last bit of it until I figure out what it is that I'm going to do. Maybe I might just grow the sides back in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see anyway. What's up, YouTube Digital Soul here? Psh. Got something really serious that I want to talk to you about today. All right? It's rough in this world. It's rough in this world because there's some things going on and... and <laughs> Mixed signals, let's say, you know what I mean? You gotta be careful even smiling at somebody nowadays. Because say like you're chilling somewhere and you're like scoping around and all of a sudden someone's looking at you and you lock that eye contact and you give a little, you, you know, a you know, little, a little smile, right? You know what I mean? You throw a little smile at everyone and you leave and before you know it, that person is coming. They're coming to you like a shark because you gave them a smile, now you're getting married, you're gonna have kids, you're having sex, you're doing whatever. And that ain't the case, man. It's like rough, because some people get so excited. Just because somebody smiles at you doesn't mean they're gonna spend the rest of their life with you. Doesn't even mean they wanna know you, okay? Just because, you know, I, I know in other videos I've said, you know, say hi to people, be cool with people, and open up to people, and that's just, basic communication and having friendships and establishing things like that. But th this ain't the movies, okay? I mean, maybe it does happen, but not too often, all right? You gotta be real to yourself and understand, you know, just because somebody paid you a little bit of attention, just because somebody laughed at one of your jokes, doesn't mean that they wanna go home and meet your parents and sack up with you, you know? Doesn't mean that they're offering themselves to you just because they shared an emotion with you, okay? You gotta be careful. And then also, I'm getting a lot of messages and I feel bad for people because I've been there. If you're in a toxic relationship or, you know, if one person ends the relationship because one person falls out of love, but the other one doesn't, and that's rough. It's rough to deal with that. It's really rough, you know, especially. But you can't sit there and obsess over somebody and think about that person constantly because you're never going to move on. They've moved on. They've done what they've done, you know. It, life moves on and, and, and there's the sun comes up tomorrow, all right? And the thing is, it's rough, and I'm going to give myself one, but you need a slap of reality sometimes. Yeah, I felt it. But you need that slap of reality because you need that, because you need to move on with your life. You can't sit there in a dark room feeling sorry for yourself, expecting, oh, I love this person. I understand, and that hurts, and that's gonna hurt for a while. 40 years from now, you might still think about that person, but you can move on with your life. There are other people out there. The problem is, is that you're secluding yourself and closing yourself in so much that the, you're not giving yourself an option of anything. Okay, so you don't want to date somebody that's dating somebody else. I'm not saying that they won't cheat again, but they can. You don't want to try to break, break up a relationship. If you have a really good friendship with somebody, and the only reason you're in that really good friendship is to get with them, you need to be honest with them up front. You need to be honest with them up front because they might see you as a friend only and nothing else ever, never, never and then they're gonna lose a really good friend. Because once you have to accept that they don't feel the same way about you, chances are you might not even talk to them anymore. So you know, you need to wake up and think and be responsible for yourself. Long smile don't mean sex, okay? Being in a bad relationship can be rough, but in time it will heal, it will go on. And if this person is still calling you and messing with you when they're in a fight with their significant other, you need to hang up the phone and tell them to move on that you are not their cushion, okay? You can't be that person because then you'll never get to live life and you'll never get to experience anything, all right? I'm looking out for you. Because I care about people, man. I, I see people getting hurt all the time. And it's rough. It is rough. But there's so many people in this world. You just need to branch out and expand and see what's out there, man. But for now, this is Digital Soul. Appreciate you stopping by and watching. Don't know what's happening here. But we'll see, alright? Peace. Psh.